is just the beginning. They're going to attack us on every front until every campus is in ruins. We're in survival mode. Don't take the bait. You gotta fight back. With what? Ash? Our dorms and classrooms are rubble. We use the old slave barracks. Impossible. It's condemned. The open field. In this coming winter, what part of impossible don't you quite get? We move on to move up. Oh, I never heard defeat so nobly defended. Don't crumble. Don't crucify the dream. Don't you dare lecture me on the dream. I was raised there on the Underground Railroad. Our home was a safe house for escaping slaves. My parents died defending the dream. And I vowed to do the same. I beg God every hour to make me half of what they were. I love Fisk, but if sacrificing it means saving the dream, I'll slaughter it without blinking! Mr. Kravath! <sighs> These lowlands were the worst site for a campus anyway. The vermin sickened the students and, and rotted the rotted the buildings, and shut down that choir. Excuse me? No German requiems as Fisk shutters. Your little circus act has been the bane of this faculty's existence. Why didn't you shut us down before? Oh, I ordered the hit. But then, the darndest thing happened. My assassin reviews White's personal file, and then, for reasons that defy reasons, finds within those tortured pages not a madman, oh, no, 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 but instead, she finds a misunderstood genius. A dangerous visionary at best. Then, at that moment, she becomes his fist and knuckles defender at headquarters and tenders her resignation the moment if anybody dares lay a finger on his precious little choir. All of this with only having laid eyes on the man only 20 minutes ago. Distant impressions. <laughs> Because her loss to the AMA would be so catastrophic, the answer to your question is blackmail. What would it take to rebuild? This sinkhole? Thousands. May as well be millions. Don't count Fisk out, Milo. The dream, the struggle. We gotta play a part in it. Oh, good grief. Another prophecy? Yeah, God speaks. To you more than Moses. Only... The Red Sea never actually parts for you, now does it? You and your fantasias, voices on the winds, singing temples, globe-trotting crusades. Poor Laura. Careful, or you're headed for another breakdown. You wage war on reality. Great men wage war on reality. Just be on time for the closure tomorrow. For God's sake, Milo. It is finished!